Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to film a first impressions and review on Kylie Jenner's brand new concealers. So I got two shades, one in cocoa which is the darkest shade in almond. I remember ordering this, I, do, I did want to go for a shade darker for the concealer but my shade was sold out. <gasps> well my I think shade was sold out so I just went for a shade a bit lighter but and I went for the darkest to contour with so let's find out how great these concealers are but I also want to sort of measure it against is it worth it I mean I'm UK based so I had to order this off online and I basically spent in total almost like 60 pounds including delivery and custom tax and everything else so it's like I had to wait like three four weeks pay custom tax all of this just for concealers is it worth it is it worth it so this is the packaging of the concealers it's quite small like I thought the concealers would be a bit bigger but yeah so this is what the packaging looks like it's quite neat it's tidy it's like really like I said it's beautiful packaging so if I got this for Christmas I'd be like oh cute it's really nice and pretty so I'm just gonna open it up from the back and this one is almond and when you open it voila here's the concealer so it's nice little clean packaging so I'm actually just gonna swatch this oh oh okay oh oh okay <laughs> so this is what the brush looks like I kind of like these brushes because it sort of allows you to just like get in there with your concealers and this is the color of almond I'm actually really happy with this colour. This colour is very similar to my NARS Natural Radiance. I'm actually going to whip that one out just to compare it. So this is Kylie Jenner's Almond. And this is obviously my ultimate favourite concealer, NARS Natural Radiance in a Monday. So I'm just going to swatch it next to it. I just want to see the colour. Very similar. Yeah. I was so scared I was going to go for like the wrong colour or it'd be too light and ashy. But I did a good choice guys. Like if anything my nose is a little bit more yellow undertone. So let's see how it goes. So that's almond next to nars natural radiance and amande so obviously if you guys been following me or watching me on instagram and youtube you know that this concealer is live lit and and then here we have coco which is the darkest shade that she does so here is coco and let me just swatch it because i'm looking at it already it looks really dark but it has a little red tint to it and this is something that i hate when they make like darkest concealers or foundations look orangey or reddish because just because someone may be dark skinned on me with red or orange <laughs> but anyways oh that's actually a really nice chocolatey color it still has a little tint of red to it but i can work with that i mean like we're gonna have to i mean i spent about 60 pounds on this better work with it <laughs> otherwise i'm coming for you kylie i'm coming for you and i really want you to win right now i know you're under a lot of stress girl but it's okay like okay it's so okay. i just slick my hair back I've got absolutely nothing on my face, on my skin. It's all fresh and ready to go. So I'm going to start by prepping my face with the Huda Beauty's Moisturizer Makeup Based Primer, which I still swear by it. And if you actually look at the packaging, you can see that I've been rinsing this out. So if you watch my Huda Beauty review and I was going raving about this, I wasn't lying. This shit is the bomb. So I'm just going to use this and really get it all over. For foundation, I'm gonna go for my Lancome Taint Ado Ultra in shade 14, just so it's like a neutral foundation. I don't wanna create any controversy using Fenty Beauty. You know what? I know, I know you like to gossip, you guys. I really like it. Well, well is it better than Fenty Beauty? Leave Kylie alone. You know, let her do her thing. foundation on my face and now it's time for highlight and contour guys highlight and contour is one of my favorite things to do i love dabbing i love blending i feel like when you apply the concealer that's when you know like like the fleekiness is just about to slay so if this concealer goes wrong like if this concealer does not make me 
feel like dark skin Beyonce then I don't know I don't know 60 pounds <laughs> okay again I love this brush I love the way that it makes it so much easier to apply so I'm just gonna I'm gonna apply a generous amount I don't care like, I want to get the full experience by the time I'm done I'm gonna look like tribal like you know I wonder how much is in here I did even, like what did it say how much 6.3 grams I don't even know what that means I'll, all I know is one thing with the nice natural radiance it runs out so freaking quick so it'll be interesting to see how long like, this concealer actually lasts Especially if you use on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's cake that on. Apply some on my nose, my forehead. Okay, and a bit on the chin. Oh, it's yours. I don't know why I like looking like this. I just, you know, when you just the sleigh is about it's just developing i'm i was really tempted to put this on right underneath as well but for the sake of this review and like first impression i'm just going to blend in the concealer in first and then apply the contour after so obviously using a damp beauty blender i'm just going to start by dabbing it in The concealer is so creamy and very easy to blend. Oh, it's so creamy. Maybe I shouldn't have applied as much concealer. I was there like, yes, kick it on, kick it on. It's very creamy. One thing I do, I have heard that it's very nice and creamy and I love that. Don't you hate it when your concealer just dries on your face and you're like, whoa. This concealer is very creamy, which is very good makes it easier to blend and to be honest next time i use it i won't use as much product as i just did right now Stop, just so you guys can sort of see how the blend looks it does look really nice and it's blended in really nice and easy one thing I am pointing out right now what, what I can see is a little bit it has a little I don't know like gray undertone once it's blended in is it just me can you guys see it if you can please comment down below but I definitely do feel a little gray undertone but let's just blend everything else and then we can talk about it after the concealer is very nice and easy to blend but i feel like this shade on me looks a bit ashy just a little bit Wow, oh, I'm tired of blending. <laughs> There's so much foundation, I mean concealer on my face. <laughs> There's so much concealer on my face. I'm actually going to use this foundation brush that has a little access foundation on it. Just to sort of get rid of the outer scale of the fun concealer. I need to stop calling this concealer foundation. Because I don't want it everywhere. I sort of just want it right in that middle. There we go. So that's just a concealer blended in. I mean, it looks good. It looks all right. In real life, I don't know, I just, I still see this little gray undertone that I'm not loving right now. But in regards to how it blends, how it sits, how it feels, uh, I can't really feel it much on my face. Um, it is very creamy, which was really nice because it makes it easy to blend. Next time I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna use a smaller amount of products because you do not need all of that. So now let's try the Coco to contour it. So again, this is Coco. 
I'm not gonna go as crazy as I went with the concealer, so I'm just gonna do a few swatch. I think I'm gonna leave it like that actually. Oh, that's really nice and dark and chocolatey. Mmm, okay, maybe, maybe just a little. Uh huh, yeah, I like that. Blends in so nice. This I'm loving. I'm definitely loving this um, cocoa for contouring. It's so nice and creamy that I think next time I use this, I'm probably gonna do contour first and then highlight on top of it. I love the way that blends in on my forehead. Yes. You know when you got that five head, like cover that up. <laughs> yes, go Kylie. I like Coco. Coco's my new favorite. I like it. around there yeah next time I definitely use this I'm definitely gonna do contour first and then highlight second just so I can sort of blend that highlight into the contour to blend in my nose contour I'm just gonna use this little small brush just so it sort of keeps the contour where I want and I sort of like how it's dried out a little bit so sort of keeps the product down. I'm actually gonna get rid of the excess just in the back of my hand. Okay, so this is the concealer and the other concealer that I used to contour with. Um, blend it in and like this is just it without me setting it or doing anything else to it. So it's more towards the jewelry side. Um, as you can see, like I'm very glowy right now, which is not necessarily a bad thing. But I am going to set it with some powder and everything else. But no, I really, really love Coco on me. To set my concealer, I'm going to use the Sasha Cosmetics um, Loose Powder in Perfect Spice. So I'm going to apply just a little bit of MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW58 just to give it a little more of a boost and little definition. <laughs> Using my Sigma brush and 3D HD Kabuki brush, I'm just going to sweep off the bake. highlight with I'm going to use my old favourite which is Anastasia Beverly Hills the glow kit in golden bronze okay guys so 
episode of review has come to an end well the first impressions whatnot I have to say I am really happy with the texture and the quality of these concealers especially Coco like to contour with it was just so <sighs> I love this I definitely think I'm definitely going to be using this more often just to sort of get the more feel of it probably use it before I highlight in regards to this one I think I did okay with picking the colour online it's just I think she needs to work more on like darker complexions in regards to undertones because I felt like once I did blend it in and looked a bit ashy but with the rest of my makeup on setting and everything else I think it looks pretty great so overall Kylie you've done a good job like well done well done well done mama um no like it looks like I don't know I look good <laughs> <laughs> so please comment down below what you guys think of it let me know if you guys want me to do an update review on it because i will i know to be honest i am going to do an update review on that i want to know if it stays as good as it is especially if i paid 60 pounds for it i want to know in a month or two if it's still as good if i would want to buy it again and all sorts so don't even comment down below you want to update i'm giving you an update review soon but thank you guys for watching if you liked it please comment down below give it a thumbs up share tag your friends your mom your auntie your, i don't know anyone just show a sister some love thank you and see you soon